Well, good morning, my friends. How are you? It's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. And it's this guy's birthday. Yep, that's why I did it happen one night yesterday. Because it was his birthday, February 1st. Gotta pay homage to the man, Clark Gable. Anyway, it's a new day, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do today, as usual. I woke up, and uh, first thing I thought was, man, I don't want to vlog today. I just want to kick it and hang out and have fun and go get my juicing stuff, go exercise, and I don't want to do anything historic. And then about two minutes later, I was like, man, I feel like driving all the way out to Santa Barbara, uh, going to the the music venue out there so I can see Jerry Garcia's uh, statue of his hand, going to Solvang, like, within, like, three minutes, I went from, what can I not do, what can I do that's right around the corner, and what can I do that's two and a half hours away? That's how weird my brain works, and I don't know why. Uh, but Ja wants to go outside, he wants to go pee bad. So we're gonna go pay the rent, we're gonna go let him release himself, and then we're gonna get this day going now. I'm having so much fun today, I haven't even had my coffee yet. Imagine that! Ja. Tell your friends on YouTube hello. Thank you. Good boy. That's a good boy. I don't know. I'm thinking this trash is going to get full pretty soon. And uh, unless it was a hoax, they said Charles Manson died today. Good riddance. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. God bless John Wayne. All right, John and I are out starting the hike for today. Getting a little exercise and then I'm gonna go off and do some vlogging because I managed to schedule a hair appointment. So gonna get my hair cut about three o'clock and do some vlogging on the way. This should be some fun. I, uh, there's a chance, probably a slim chance, but there's a chance that I'm gonna get booked for a five day job. And if that happens, I'm going to have to do some serious overtime vlogging in the next day or two to make sure I have something for you guys. But you know I will. Well, of course we made it to the top. And there's your buddy. John, I were just finishing up the hike and I had to throw it into fifth gear because as I'm coming down the trail, some weirdo is standing there staring at the sky. And as soon as he hears me walking up behind, he flips around real quick and he goes, Hey bro, what do you think those lines are up there? What do you think those trails are? And I knew what he was doing. And I looked at the uh, hiking trail, I go, that's just a hiking trail. He goes, no, 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 the one's in the air. And I was like, eh, probably an airplane. I don't know. I knew what he was doing. And he goes, nah, chemtrails. And I was like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. I'm not going to engage some creepy weirdo talking about chemtrails out in the middle of a hiking trail. Whether I believe in them or not, I'm not talking to anybody that their conversation starter is. Chemtrails, man. Chemtrails. That's what he was talking about. Those are the chemtrails that he's talking about, that he's so upset about. That guy missed the parking space by quite a bit. Quite a bit. I don't know if he knows what a sidewalk is or if he knows something I don't. Well, surprise, guys. Today I came to Westwood Memorial Cemetery. And it was pretty packed, so there wasn't a whole lot of places to park. And I had to park right here in front of Farrah Fawcett and Merv Griffin. So I'm going to work my way through and kind of show you who all's here. There's uh, Erwin Winkler. I believe he was one of the producers of Empire Strikes Back. And because of Shelly, I actually met him at a party at her house. Really nice guy. We only part to meet again. We will, with the go forever. And it's one of my all-time favorites. Sunshine boys, grumpy and grumpier old men. You name it, he was good in it. The great Walter Matthau. 
the great actor from Streetcar Named Desire and On the Waterfront. As well as uh, One Eye Jax with Marlon Brando. They are both actor studio uh, buddies and seem to always be in the same movies together. Now there's a handful of places in here that you're not allowed to go into, but most of the people I want to see, you can. And I actually might break this into two, a two-parter, because there's so many people here. And here's a bench dedicated to Peggy Lee. I can't get in here because it's locked, but there's Fanny Bryce. Right here is one of my all-time favorites also, James Coburn, one of Bruce Lee's students, and uh, I think this says it perfectly. Go bravely on, James Coburn. And uh, there's Brian Key, who is in Family Affair, and uh, he was also the uh, stepson to the woman who jumped off the Hollywood sign. Had a long history of people in his family committing suicide. Now there are a handful of people out here that are buried, that are famous, that didn't want any kind of tombstone or any kind of recognition of who they are. And it's Frank Zappa, Ray Orbison, and this one right here is George C. Scott. Now what I decided to do, guys, is I'm going to do all the people that are on the outskirts of the cemetery in today's vlog and then tomorrow's vlog you'll get all the people that are over here in the inskirts. There's Oscar Levant, you might remember him from An American in Paris. He was a pianist, comedian, actor. Kind of one of those guys that was a little bit of everything. And uh, if we turn around right here, one of the greats. You're nobody till somebody loves you. That's right, Dean. That's right. Now, of course, the most famous person here, the one that everybody comes here for, the beautiful, lovely Miss Marilyn Monroe. And, uh... It's always been said that Hugh Hefner has the plot right next to her, unless he sold it. There she is. Shelly's friend. Shelly and her uh, were best friends. They used to share clothes. They lived together. They... Yeah. Shelly told me the, the way that she found out that Marilyn died was she was filming a movie in New York and had talked to Marilyn the night before and said that, uh, you know, if you hate it in Los Angeles, come live with me here. And that was the last thing that they talked to each other about. And then she said the next day she went into work and one of the crew guys said, hey, your girlfriend died. And she goes, what? She said, yeah, your girlfriend died last night. And right here is uh, one of the best damn drummers to ever hold a stick. And... Uh, it's kind of crazy. He used to perform a lot at the uh, at Ciro's, which is now the Comedy Store. So, when I heard that he used to play there, there's just, I don't know. There's just something that when you walk in that that room where these people used to perform, it just you get this feeling. You can you can feel the music. Now, there's two people who actually aren't buried here, but they were cremated here. Janis Joplin and Elizabeth Montgomery, Samantha Stevens from Bewitched. And right down here is one of the greatest composers of all time, the great Harry Warren. You probably know uh, Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? And uh, Serenade in Blue. Yeah, look at that. I love finding people like this. The unsung heroes of Hollywood. Now we're coming up on a whole slew of people, and if you're wondering why I have these sunglasses, it's because every time I come here, 
There's two people that have unmarked graves that I always leave something on their grave. And this is for them. Right here, right away, you can see Jackie Collins. Right next to Jackie Collins is the great author Truman Capote. The great Mel Torme. And, uh, you know, I grew up watching Night Court, so I, that was my earliest introduction to Mel Torme. What a voice. And, uh, and also, my mom wanted me to let you guys know that Peter Lawford was uh, cremated and scattered at sea here as well. And there's one of the Gabor sisters, the great Lisa Douglas from Green Acres. I was just talking about that with somebody on my YouTube today. They wanted to know what kind of show I would like to be in as an actor, and I said something like Green Acres. This is probably the biggest memorial here, the Arm and Hammer family. And uh, I actually wasn't going to do this, but I don't see why I wasn't going to do this. I'll show you a little bit of the inside. I don't really want to go in there. Something about this one kind of creeps me out a little bit. Now the very first time I came here, this was the very first one I found. God, I just love Don Knotts, and he went out of his way to have a really cool, really big, really detailed memorial. Look at that sucker. That's the way you do it. You don't do it out of ego, you do it because people want to see it after you're gone. Look at that. Nip it in the bud. I've been looking and looking and looking for this one. I just couldn't find it. It's right here by Lady Rollins. Should have known. Great director John Cassavetes. Love his movies. Now let's go hit the other section of the outer skirts that I haven't hit and then go, uh, you guys will have to see the rest tomorrow. This one's pretty cool. That's Sam Simon from The Simpsons. You put the little Simpsons thing down there, it says, it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. And then right next to him is a dog. And there's one for Columbo. And then check this out. Mr. Columbo himself, Peter Falk. One of the greatest shows of all time, of course. And then right next to Peter Falk is the great director, writer, Billy Wilder. You know him from Some Like It Hot. And his wife's right here, Audrey Wilder. And then right next to them is Carol O'Connor, Archie Bunker. His wife. And then right next to them, and I'm kind of surprised that he wasn't buried closer to Walter Matthau, even though it's not too far. The great Jack Lemmon. In death, apparently. Great sense of humor. Sage Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's son. You might have remembered him from Rocky V. And I think he was... Wasn't he in, like... As a kid, he was like in Rocky 3 also. Rocky 4 even. Yeah. Sad. And I think we're almost done. We have one last person I'm looking for. I'm going to use the word save the best for last for him. But I think, uh, I think I'm on the wrong little section. But let's go find him. And here he is. One to pay the proper respect. One of the greatest headstones of all time. There goes the neighborhood. 
easy money, back to school. Pretty much everything he was in, he was gold. And it's funny if you uh, if you've ever seen him in Caddyshack. It was one of those things where he wasn't used to people not laughing on the set, and uh, and when he came in to do it, he, nobody was laughing. He's like, "Oh, I'm dying up here." And they're like, "No, we can't laugh while you're recording stuff." But yeah, that was all gold. All right, we're getting there, guys. If you guys remember last time I got a haircut, it was on set, and they pretty much scalped me. So we're not going to go that far this time. I actually wanted to kind of look grown out a little bit. I was pretty happy with the way my hair looked anyway, but since we I'm getting those photos in two weeks, I want to just trim it up. And I told you guys the other day I don't trust anybody, but this lady right here, Miss Esther, to cut my hair. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. You're getting to see I'm about halfway done. She's got the back looking good. I didn't want it shaved this time. Usually, like, the current style is to shave up the sides and shave around the back and all that stuff. But when I'm done, you're probably thinking, oh, it doesn't look that much different than when you came in. That was the point. I actually really liked the way it was looking when I came in, but I wanted it cleaned up for two weeks from now. If you're ever wondering what I'm going for, it's like somewhere between Philo, Beto, and Every Which Way But Loose, and the Clark Gable haircut. Now let's get back to Hollywood. Alright guys, I'm back in Hollywood, and uh, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil what else I saw tomorrow, but I'll tell you this, as much as I did... For tomorrow's vlog, I still didn't get everybody. There is still at least one more trip's worth of uh, vlogging to do out there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I you know I told you guys just like two weeks ago I wanted to go do this, and it didn't happen. So today, I just thought, well, if she can get me a hair appointment, then I will go do that vlog on the way. And uh, when I got done with like the first part of it, I was just like, no way, this is two days and I'm going to make these guys suffer for a full day and they're going to have to come back and watch the rest of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I got to go hit the grocery store and get some uh, juicing supplies. Well guys, look what I got in the mail. I got a nice oversized picture of Kurt Cobain smoking a cigarette, playing his guitar. And uh, I got that on eBay, brand new. Supposed to be yellowed and old looking for a dollar thirty six. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw that in a frame and I'm gonna put the uh, piece from his house in with it. This is a little memento for myself. Pretty cool. It's a pretty big size, too.